This is Andrew Stotts of A. Stotts Investment Research, talking about how to become financially world-class. This is part two of a five-part series. In this section, I'm going to talk about competing forces, profitability, and growth. So let's get into it. The first thing is that the three core barriers to becoming financially world-class is that finance is complicated, financial measures are scattered, and finance is used to individually incentivize divisions and people. World-class benchmarking makes complicated simple, it makes scattered focused, and it moves the company from individual to team. So, the questions that I wanted to answer for my own business, here's a few of them. How do you increase the value of your business? What's more important for your business? High profitability, keep that margin up, or fast growth, reduce the margin, let the profit grow. And how can you be sure that what you measure matters most for the value of your company? I've spoken to many financial people that all have different opinions on it. How do we know what, mat what, what measure matters most? Let me ask you a question. Let's discuss about this. I want you to think about the strongest and fastest. What do I mean by this? Well, who's the strongest person in the world? How about who's the fastest person in the world? Are they the same person? Well, the strongest person in the world won the 2017 World's Strongest Man competition. His name is Eddie Hall from the UK. Now, he could squat, oh my God, 405 kilos, almost 900 pounds. He could deadlift 500 kilos, more than 1,000 pounds. And he could bench press 300 kilos, which is 660 pounds. Man, am I a weakling. And there he is, and that's what he looks like. Now, who's the fastest? Well, Usain Bolt is the greatest sprinter of all time. He's an eight-time Olympic gold medalist. He's the only sprinter to win the Olympic 100 and 200 titles at three consecutive Olympics. He holds the 100-meter world record of 9.58 seconds, which he hit in 2009. And there he is. Now, let me ask you, Again, is the strongest the fastest? Well, let's look at strongest fastest. Richard Frowning Jr. is an American professional CrossFit athlete. He's known for his achievements in the 2010 to 2016 CrossFit Games. He's the first person to win the title, fittest man on earth, that's not me, four times with his first place finish in the 2011 to 2014 CrossFit Games. And there he is. Again, that's not me. Now he looks a lot different from the other guys. Now let's talk about yin yang. Yin yang are competing forces. And I would argue that profitability and growth are competing forces. And you could call it dark, bright. They're opposite forces that can be complementary. What is a man without a woman? It's the balance of opposite is shown by the portion of one being in the other. So the circle stays the same and they're equally balanced. Well, what does yin mean? It means slow, soft, cold, wet, passive. It could be considered earth, water, moon, night. And it's associated with female. And I associate it with profitability. Now let's look at yang. It's fast, hard, solid, focused, hot, active. It's associated with fire, sky, sun, and day. And it's also associated with male. I call that growth. Women, profitability, men, growth. 
Now, extremely high profitability, yin, reduces the growth. You can see my little drawing on the black there is cr crowding in on the white, the growth. And extremely high growth reduces profitability. Again, my scribbling lines. Now, it's hard for a business to maintain the opposing forces of profitability and growth at maximum. And if both forces are weak, the business dies. The circle shrinks up. World-class benchmarking measures a combination of profitability and growth, which we call profitable growth. The profitable growth score explains how well a company maximizes and balances the two forces. So what have you learned today? World-class benchmarking measures profitable growth. It combines profitability and growth in the one measure of a company's level of strongest, fittest, or fastest. Could say fittest too. It's very hard to maintain both of them at maximum, and death will come if both are weak. So remember that world-class benchmarking helps your company to become financially world-class by taking complicated financial concepts and making them simple, by taking a scattered team to a focused team, and from taking an individual to a team and working as a team. You can learn more at acedots.com slash WCB for world-class benchmarking, and I'll see you there.